guys let's let's see how this shakes we're gonna try it in both pv and pvp today let's see how it plays out again warden's law got a completely new rework at the beginning of the season it's entirely different than what it used to be it's actually like a, a two-round burst weapon hence why it's rpms now is 257 and i know someone's gonna say well it shot two rounds before it did but its target acquisition was arguably the worst in the entire game now though it actually will burst fire and so it's, it's got its own archetype and everything now so I'm curious to see how this plays out i have not played with it though since the rework and this is also the new version so i'm curious to see how it all comes together we are going to do some damage tests again today's review is just more or less a first impression video of warden's law and i am excited to you know see this thing fully fleshed out when we get the the best roll possible right now the reason why we want to test this inside of pve because this weapon shoots a two round burst pattern meaning with something like lucky pants it's reaching those stacks even faster i'm gonna take off these search months now when you think of like lucky pants and the best weapons that have paired with lucky pants at the top of the list you have malfeasance you've got things like crazily you know last word you've also got weapons like uh officer revolver which is which is like this kinetic weapon that you can get a like i think four times a charm and warp on it anyways the question that we have today can warden's law outpace those weapons popping good pretty good chat pretty good and i had to reload hold up hold up let's 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 amp it up a little bit Popping. the damage oh my god blowing thy load pretty good man that's pretty spicy 570 all right moment of truth and again i really do think that this number could be higher if i had any type of mag boosting part whether it's extended or appended i could boost that up even more i could do a dead big one spec instead i do have this seven serif officer revolver at one time this was a fantastic weapon still is but a fantastic weapon with lucky pants because it's rate of fire let's let's see what we get out of this popping Get it, baby. Get it, get it, get it. <whistles> Outpacing it quite a bit here. Okay. All right. Let me let me try what what um I don't think so, but let me try what Diesel was saying. Diesel, I know what you're talking about. It normally works when you you change out the mag of the the weapon, but not. So right now I'm holding 24 rounds. If I go and I apply. It's still 24. Yeah, see. All right. We get best of both freaking worlds. Okay. Okay. Chat. Let's try this. Hold on. Hold on. This is maximum damage from Warden's Law. Popping. My lord. All right. Oh. All right. 592. What was, Malf what was Malfeasance's number? We're, we're about to do Malfeasance right now. Now, keep in mind, Malfeasance got a lot of good things going for it. It's got its exotic perk. It's It's got it's got Vorpal on the weapon. I mean, it's an exotic. It, it does the explosive damage when you hit the five shots. A lot of good things going here. Popping. Oh my Ooh. god. Oof. Oh. Oof. Chat. I can't. How, what was the percentage on bets? 97% said no. Mouth oh Gordon's my god. Oh, hold on, hold on. We got we to gotta give Malfeasance one more go. Because, again, a couple of things, though, I, I do want to point out. Like, things that make Malfeasance really good. It does a tremendous amount of damage against Taken. It also, when you place a Wither Horde shot on a boss with Wither Horde, that amplifies malfeasance damage as well and then if you have someone else on your team who's also rocking malfeasance you're able to stack those slugs together 
and and get more of those ex explosive damages in but in a one-to-one -one comparison at least right now i'm gonna give it one more test but in a one-to-one -one comparison warden's law is slapping that ass often Yeah, I think it's because I got um I got detained there. Throw on a single wither horde shot. Popping. Oh, that seems a lot higher. Yep. Yeah, 642. Now keep in mind that's because of Wither Horde. That's that's the synergy between Wither Horde and malfeasance but again in a one-to-one -one, i i'm i'm in complete shock right now in a one-to-one -one, warden's law is better i'm gonna get one more damage with warden's law Popping. oh my god that was almost perfect biggest scam i've ever seen in my life oh my god look oh at that my, oh my god it is god. it is almost oh breaking god. 600 that is wild for my hunters i mean i think warden's law actually is going to be a great option inside of pv especially after the hand cannon buff right i do want to play with it more inside of pvp though and just narrow down the best role possible that i can get but this combination, if I had a mag perk, would be even nastier. Pair that with something like Lucky Pants. You're cooking. It is the best hand cannon in the game paired with Lucky Pants now. It is surpassed 7 Serif Officer Revolver. It is surpassed Malfeasance and Malfeasance with the Exotic Catalyst. Oh, yeah. Pyro, I'm literally going to put my, my balls. Not, not both of them, but at least one of them right on your forehead oh my god that feels weird like a good weird down. why does this feel so nice what's happening this is warden's law we're talking about arguably one of the worst feeling weapons in all of destiny at one time down. it's like it's like a it's like a more immediate crimson. I mean, it is a two-round burst, so obviously it would be more immediate. Oh, my lord, that feels amazing. Dude, I don't know, Chad. That feels fantastic. This is so unlike Warden's Law. Warden's Law has never felt this good. This is amazing. What can stop you if you fight? Got the good airborne effectiveness on it too. What's the A on this bad baby? What's the A? 17! Oh, it's so hot. It's so hot, chat. Crosses a shine. On the contrary, guys. It's fantastic right now. I am I am actually I'm falling in love with this weapon. Rip. Get it, baby. That shut them down. Two for one. Dude, I love that I'm able to pair it too. Like, so many weapons come out and I don't have um, you captured zone B. the ability zone to pair it because it's it's not a kinetic, right? Bungie's trying so hard to just lean in it with everything else. Oh, they try to lean it in with like the new energy types for that strand or stasis, right? No, it feels good to me, guys. It feels good. Now, I've got two different roles. I've got this role, which is in line action in Zim Moment. Uh, really, really nice. And one's boosting handling, the other one's boosting stability quite a bit. But then we have this role right here, which is in line action in Frenzy. I really think in line action is a very good part, guys. And this is a, this is a solid range role, too, because if you if I get rid of me real quick, we're at like 86 range. That is massive. I, I Guys, I'm telling you, I, I was not expecting it. I really was not expecting it. Beautiful. That felt nice. 
again, from what I'm experienced with this weapon, guys, is you just, you want to go for neck level, man. Like, every time I ever try to just go for just headshots like I normally would, I, I feel like I just lose it. Damn, dude. That does nice. I'm telling you, look, 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 guys. There is, there is a, there is a play style with this hand cannon. We're going to get the five out of five God roll. Or what we would think is the five out of five God roll. Um, there is a play style here. And I, I want to learn it. I want to learn it, man. Beautiful shit, brother. Beautiful shit. I've only killed this man with a shotgun. <laughs> Zone B lost. Enemy has advantage. I want him. I want your body. Come back. Thank you so much. Again, I've only killed him with a shotgun. Wow. What the? Was there somebody in there with me? Are we about to lose this fucking game right now? Ha! Ah, we were just ahead. I look away from the OBJ for just a moment. You captured zone all right. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. Hold up. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Oh, the emotional. The emotional stress this game has brought on. I have only killed Apathetic with a shotgun. Anyways, guys, I think this weapon is a lot better than what people are giving it credit for inside of PvP. You, you've seen the potential inside of PvE. I need to get the 5 out of 5 god roll. Now, you may be wondering, Cross, what even is the 5 out of 5 god roll? I think moving targets Zen moment would be really, really nice. I do like the idea of kill clip just to just, you know, run around and easily get the 2 tap. But I feel like moving targets Zen would feel so consistent. Slap that like button like your mama told you right.